this video I'll go into the installation of Google Analytics for Joomla. So this is how you install Google Analytics on your website so you can start tracking all the traffic and people that are coming to your website. Cool. So this one here is the one from Niche Extensions. This is a plugin that I created myself and you can download it for free. There's a free version and of course there's a pro version where you can get a lot more statistics and uh, deeper analytics out of your out of your website traffic. But we'll just go with the free one at the moment and I'll show you how to install and configure this one. So click on download and that will take you to the download section here. We'll go down to the, the 4.1 version, which is the free version, and I'll just click on the view files. And we can see it's been downloaded over 16,000 times now since I've released it. So uh, it's, it's quite a popular plugin for everyone to download and actually use. So click on the download button here and it will, uh, it will just prompt you to save the file to your desktop. I'll just save it there. I've already got a copy, so it's replacing it. Great, so it's nice and quick. Now you can also install this from the back end of your Joomla website. And I think that's where a lot of the traffic is coming from for uh, this particular plugin. So if you go to the back end of your website here, so this is a Joomla 3 website, we'll go to Extensions, Extension Manager, and I've enabled Install from Web. Usually there's a message or a prompt here that will come up if you haven't got this enabled, and you can enable that so you can install extensions directly from the back end of your Joomla website. So I'll just clear this so I have a little bit more space. So now I can do a little quick search for Google Analytics. And there is the extension right there. This is the one that I'm after. This one here is built with the universal and the asynchronous Google Analytics. So it's both the different versions. So I'll just click on this link here. And it'll give me a little bit more details about the particular plugin, any more documentation that I need to know in version notes. That's great. It's got a good star rating, which is something you always have to watch out for. And it's been recently updated as well, of course. Great. So that's really good. Let's click on the install button here and start the installation process. Continue the install. And voila, there we go. So we have the plugin successfully installed. There's some notice here talking about the plugin itself and a link to the documentation if you need to go and find out a little bit more. Cool. So now let's go configure this plugin and get Google Analytics tracking on this website. We'll click on extensions, go to the plugin manager. And here I've already filtered down my view, but if my view wasn't filtered, I'll see every last single plugin that's on the website. Now it's a little hard to crawl through all of that. So it's always a good idea to filter down your view. I'll just type in Google here. And here it's filtered down the two-factor authentication by Google and also the Google Analytics plugin as well. So I'll click on this one. I can see it's disabled at the moment. So firstly, I'll enable it. And then I'll go into the options here and configure this plugin to get it working. So this plugin will alter between the analytics for the universal and the asynchronous version, the older version of Google Analytics, which is still widely used as well. The universal one is still in beta mode at the moment at the time of recording this video, but it is the default one that Google is pushing out with all new Google Analytics accounts. So it's probably the best way to go at the moment. Okay, so the code type I'll leave as universal. And let's get this Google Analytics web property and fill in the ID here. Now I have my Google Analytics account open over here. So I'll just switch over to that. Now when you're configuring your plugin, click on the admin button across the top toolbar here and it will pull up all the different uh, variations or the options in regards to controlling and configuring your analytics analytics uh, profile. So I'll go down here under property and I'll click on tracking info. Now this here will give me the tracking code and that web property ID which I can copy and put into the back end of my website. So all I need here is this particular code, this particular unique ID. Every single Google Analytics account will have a unique ID to identify which site is which. Okay, so let's go into the back end of the plugin again and add this code in. I'll 
I'll just highlight that text, hit paste. Cool, and my tracking code is in there. Now for the domain, in this case, I will put localhost slash Joomla. And I don't need the HTTP. Cool. Now a lot of people ask me what this Webmaster Tools verification is. Now the Webmaster Tools verification is a way to enable Webmaster Tools uh, to talk to your Joomla based website. Now if you just after the tracking you do not need to worry about this. You do not need to fill this in at all. But I'll quickly show you how to fill in this particular field if you want to track and enable Webmaster Tools for your Joomla website. So I'll just go to Google Webmaster Tools here. Now I'm just going to pull up any, any of the sites that I happen to have uh, enabled in the back end here. So I have the Joomla Beat website, so I'll just click on that one. <laughs> you can see a lot of my statistics here. Probably shouldn't show you all that. But I'll click on the configure here, verification details. Now this site's already been verified, so I don't really need to do this process. But we'll just click on verify it using a different method here. So now that I'm in the verification method screen, I can choose how I want to verify my account. So in this case, I'm going to use the HTML tag or the meta tag so I can add into the back end of the website. So I'll just click on this one to enable it. And here I can see the verification code. So I'm going to copy that. Now the bit I actually need is just this bit here, just that little bit of code, the lots of characters, how many, how many characters there, 25, 30, I don't know. But it won't let me select that. So I'm just going to copy that. I'll paste it in the toolbar at the top in the search bar, and that way I can actually just select the bit that I need. There we go, all right, copy, great, okay. Now I'll go into the Joomla admin again, I'll press paste, and there we go, I've got my webmaster verification tool. So now I can actually go back into my website later and hit the verify button. Now of course this won't work because this is for the Joomla Beat website and not for my local host here. So I can't actually verify that. So obviously it won't work for the Joomla Beat website, but uh, and it won't actually work to verify this one here either. But it will it will just work as the example, so I can show you how this particular plugin works. So I'll hit save now, and that is it. So we can check and see if the actual code is enabled on the front end of your Joomla site. So I'll just hit the refresh button here. And then I'll check the source code to make sure that it's enabled and that it's appearing in the output. So all I need to do to do to do the check is right click, view page source. Now this is all the, the CSS, the, the Joomla output, JavaScript files and so, so forth. But if we go further down here, just before the head, just before the closing head tag, we can see the Google Analytics code here. And I've put a comment here saying Google Analytics plugin by PB Web Development. So you can actually see the code itself to make sure that it's appearing and tracking. And that's it there. If I go back to my Google Analytics account, it should look pretty much the same. We've tightened it up a little bit and taken out some spaces, of course, to make it a little bit neater in the output. But if we have a look at, at the output again, it's showing exactly as it should. Now that's a little bit different because we're tracking a different domain, but uh, overall it's exactly the, exactly the same. Now here above that, I can see the Google site verification code as well. And this is the bit of code that we added in before to verify our site. And that's basically it. So that's how you install and that's how you configure the Google Analytics plugin for Joomla and get your Joomla site tracking with Google Analytics. Thanks. So if you like this video, give it a nice little thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also visit the Joomla Beat website at joomlabe.at. There's lots of useful hints and tips there, podcasts, videocasts, and so much more. So make sure you check that one out. Okay. Till next time, everyone. Bye.